Right now, is there an outbreak of lawlessness in Washington, D.C.? Our next guest says absolutely yes. Charles Kraftheim, author of All Things That Matter, join us, and joins us. rather. And I just read your book. It's fabulous, by the way. Um, Thank you. What do you mean by lawlessness in D.C.? Well, I mean, I'm talking about how the administration, particularly the president, seems to think that he has the right to change duly passed statutes on his own or to suspend whole parts of laws on his own. I mean, the Constitution is pretty clear. The president executes the law and the Congress passes the laws. So, for example, a few months ago, Obama decided that he wanted to suspend, to postpone the employer mandate of his own law of Obamacare. You're not allowed to do that. You've got to change the law in Congress if you want to do it. And he did it, you know, without hesitation. A year ago, he, he did some recess appointments you're allowed to do if the Senate isn't in session. The problem was the Senate was in session, and the courts have so ruled. This is a very cavalier attitude. But the worst part was what happened a couple of weeks ago, when the president was really stung by the fact that there were all these cancellations of insurance policies. So you remember he held a press conference a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he told the insurers to reinstate the policies. There's only one problem with that. The policies were canceled because under Obama's own health care law, it is illegal to issue a policy after the year 2013 unless it contains these minimal requirements, these 10 elements that it has to have, for example, maternity care and all other stuff. So if you had a policy that was canceled, it's because it did not satisfy the minimum. So there's no way that an insurer can reinstate a law because it would be illegal to do it. So Obama's own law is something that he ignores and, in, and he, in, he encourages insurers and state insurance commissioners to, to allow to be uh, violated. And the way he's been doing this, it's sort of the, the cavalier attitude I find absolutely astonishing. Hmm. You, you know, you talk about lawlessness and then you mention the fact that the president appeared stunned when millions of Americans started seeing their health care policies canceled because of the right. health care law he put into place. Could it also be panic? Well, I think absolutely. I think they, they didn't sort of see any of this coming, although it's quite remarkable how you could have missed that. After all, the idea of this health care law is to increase radically the number of people with health insurance, and instead we get almost no one receiving health insurance, and we get five million Americans losing health insurance. So absolutely. And it was also one other thing. It was a matter of deception. It's the way he had sold the bill, promised the bill, and yeah. told Americans, if you like your insurance, you keep it. And then he added the fatal word, period, which meant no caveats, no exceptions, mm -hmm. no argument, and no curlicues around oh. here. And of course, that, that turned out to be false. And that's why his numbers have cratered. I was just going to say, and, and we've seen his job approval ratings tick down. And that disapproval, I mean, well above 50 percent, what people think of the job the president's doing. Before I let you go, though, Charles, uh, overall, I mean, not just this White House, we have seen abuses of, of, of policy and of power. Do you think this is on the rise inside the Beltway? I think it is, because I think there's so much hostility between the parties that the one party in power is willing to overlook all kinds of illegalities, all kinds of uh, violation of constitutional norms, if it satisfies their political interest, if it advances their agenda. Mm. And I'm just shocked the way Democrats are allowing all this to happen. And the reason is, one day the, uh, the other guys are going to be in power, yeah. and Democrats will rue the day when they allowed all this. And as you point out in your book, you've had a lot of experience in this. It's, it's karma. It, yeah. <laughs> Charles Kratheimer. Absolutely. Great to have you on tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.